everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Hope, if you don't already know. I am doing a book outlet haul today. I'm actually doing two of my orders because I kind of overspent and I have three, but I'm gonna do two today. So yeah, right. um, my first one was all young adult, I'm pretty positive. So I got the Savage Song. I, this is my, I have three orders from Book Outlet, but they all were 40 bucks a piece. When you go on there, they have all the categories. They even have children's books. Um, and they're all discounted. They're like from bargain stores. And some of them have like lines on the bottom. Like this one has a line on the bottom because it is like a bargain book. So it was sold somewhere and it didn't sell. So then they take them and then they resell them. I'm really excited for it too because I got such a good amount of books for a little amount of money. So this one is The Savage Song. I found it on Amazon for like 10 bucks. I'm pretty sure that none of my books were more than five bucks a piece. And it is paperback, so that was really good. And then I got Shatter, Shutter, Shutter, Shutter. Um, I think it's more of like a horror book a little bit. There's even like pictures on this one. So I thought that one would be really good for me to read. I got the Cronus Chronicles. I'm pretty sure this was not the cover that was online, which is fine, but this is a little different than what I would pick. I think it has something to do with like, um, like Greek culture. And I also got Heart of Thorns. I'm really excited about this one. I read like the insert and it sounded really, really good. It says, trust your heart even if it kills you. So I think that's really cool. And then I got, I was a fan of Vampire Diaries when it first came out. My sister was too, so I think she'll read some of these. So I got two Vampire Diaries books. This one is The Awakening, The Awakening and the Struggle. And then this one is Stefan's Diaries. It's Bloodlust. I also got this one by Kirsten White. I'm actually really excited about this one too, just because it's from the world of Buffy. I never actually finished Buffy when I was like a teenager, but I really liked her books. Not books, but the show. But this book goes into like her world and it's a slayer and the girl on the cover is actually, I think, the last one. So that is gonna be really cool for me to try and read. And then the last show I got from this one was The Girl of Fire and Thorns. It was young adult, mark on the bottom. I'm totally cool with the mark on the bottom. I'd rather it not be on the top. And then I got The Hazel Wood, and it's a series. A couple of them I got are a series. I think this one's like a pull on like Alice in Wonderland. So after I read a couple, I'll probably do like a recommendation video or something. It's like really popular on TikTok, but I haven't posted any of these on TikTok yet. However, I wanted to do them on here first. So I was really excited about that one. And then I got a second one. Actually, I think this one was young adult as well. So I got Poison's Kiss. It's not a very long book, but I am one that if I do not like the cover, I'm not even going to go like click on it to even read what it's about. I have to like the cover. Like that is just something for me. And then I got Thief's Cunning. I think the cover was really pretty on this one too. I also got The Glass Spare. I really like the cover, of course, on this one too. I got another Vampire Diaries book. This one's The Fury and the Dark Reunion. What I do know about this series is it's not the same as the show. And I've watched the show completely, so that will be cool to see how it goes. This one is Strange Grace. And it was really pretty on the front. I think this one actually I'm really really excited about just for the simple fact 
of the cover. It's a skull, the lantern's ember. I think it's really cool. And it is, oh, um, I don't know if it's a series, but she does have series. I know she is like a super popular author that I've seen on like book talk a lot. And then I got the Devouring Grey. That one was really pretty too. And then this one, I actually got two of the same book. Like, not two of the same book, but two from the series. Um, I got Beast Made of Night and Crown of Thunder. And these covers were really cool too. Just different. I definitely am a fan of PC Cash. She was the one who wrote all of the, oh my gosh, their vampire books. Chosen. It's that marked. Mark starts the series. But this one's Sun Warrior. Um, she actually, I think it's the mom and the daughter that write their series, but this one it was sold somewhere else. So like I'm gonna have to get the sticker off. So that's cool. And then I got these two. Oh <gasps> no! One's in hardback and one is paperback. Oh man! Um, this is a series. difference between hardback and paperback. A lot of people like cannot purchase books that are in a series that are different. I don't know how I feel. But I, I like the covers on these. I think that's what really pulled me to them. I'm a little sad about that. Okay so I just counted all of them. I got 21 books for less than $80 because after you hit $35 on their website, they give you free shipping, which is really cool. So that was my book outlet haul from their store online. 